Yo, VP, VP, welcome to the show. My name is Eric, and today I'm with Robo Ranks. This Give thanks. Yo, Robo. What's up, bro? Long time ain't seen you, man. Keep hearing your yeah. voice in London, UK. You are the voice of East Africa when it comes to football, but your predictions in AFCON was wrong, son. It's only for that game, though, but I'm happy at least. Sadio Mane won it. We good. Mohamed Salah will try next year. Yeah, well, I think with Mohamed Salah, it, it could have gone both ways, but I'm happy that Sadio Mane is a happy man because he's a brother yeah, that we, we all adore. And we, when we see him play for Liverpool, as often he plays without a smile. And I think um, if he had missed that penalty, he would be broken. We'd have a problem. And I think Salah's strong enough. He could take a penalty, miss a penalty, or lose out on, um, on the AFCONs and go against. But I'm really happy for Sadio Mane. He's my guy. Big up, Sadio. Big up all the Senegalese, bro. Okay, let's go on to the Premier League. First yes. game, I'll kick off on Saturday. Man United do play Southampton. The early kickoff. Yeah, the early kickoff game. Um, well, we can we all eyes can tell us Man United are currently in the mud. Um, Ragnik has had time to settle down with his team. He's had enough time to see who is dross and who should get lost, and and he hasn't come to a conclusion finally on what is a settled team. I still there's still some of that um Ole Gunnar Solskjaer um flavor going on in the team, and I think um he's got to make a decision. He's been making bold decisions with um, um, uh, CR7 and obviously Pogba's now in the frame. He's going to have to make a decision on his back line. He's going to have to make a decision on central mid. Um, which means Southampton with their tails up after the game against Tottenham will come into that game with no fear. And I, and I know Man United fans want to see a steamroller game, but I think Southampton are organised. They've gone away from home. They know how to win away from home. And I, and I think they know how to draw. But I think Man United, I think Raniak will put his foot down this weekend and it might just be a 2-1, but they will score. Southampton will score. But I think it will be a Man United victory. Man City go to Norwich. Any chance Norwich can surprise them? I don't know. I don't know if Pookie can do a Pookie, Pookie, Pookie. I want Pookie to do a Pookie, Pookie. Pookie's not Pookie in, but he's scoring his goals. But can you imagine if, if they go there and get something? And usually the team's at the bottom of the table scrapping. The scrap doesn't start yet, Eric. You know, the scrap starts in March. Yes. That's where teams are like, I know I'm, I've got my 38 points. I'm good. The teams close to the bottom are not good, i.e. Brentford and teams like that. So the scrap, the scrap doesn't start yet. They're still kind of working out who's going to come down with them. I know Norwich is going down. I don't know Man City are going to, if not win the league, they are going to come second to Liverpool. But I can't see Norwich offering any resistance. I think, I think, I think Man City will have, it will be a tough game. I think Man City will overcome 2-0. Liverpool, I have to go to Burnley on Sunday. I think Sadio Man should be back for that one. Sadio, Sadio, Sadio can carry on celebrating. We're okay. Luis Diaz, bro. <laughs> Ooh, we have that guy's on fire, bro. What a there's player! A, what a signing! There's, there's a there's a chocolate drink in the UK called Options. We have options, <laughs> man. So um, I'll be drinking hot chocolate. My options. Um, I don't think there is no problem for Liverpool. I think Liverpool skin Burnley. Burnley is a team that um, and Sean Dyche is one of those feisty characters that feel like he's on level with Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp does not like Sean Dyche. That's personal. He will go out and tell the team murder that kill that run that over dead food I think that's what he does and I don't think Burnley as much as they defend really well and they put up resistance against a very sloppy Man United I don't think they get a chance I don't think they get a sniff I think Liverpool go there and wins that game comfortable and I think it might be another 2-0 result they don't give up much goals Burnley so I don't think it's going to be a total murderation but I can't see Burnley getting a sniff I I, I don't think they lay a glove on Liverpool. None at all. Nice. Who knew? That is it. We're done with the predictions. Remember, you can watch all these games on Showmax Pro from Saturday all the way to Sunday. Listen to his voice, man. He knows what he's talking about. Eric, thank yeah, you very course. much for having us on the show, man. Check us out at Robo Ranks Radio on all your socials. 